It's a sin, my darling. This is uh this is gonna be a playthrough of Vegas. Uh I tried Fallout 3 but it kept crashing on Windows 7, uh, Skype. Um and holy fuck, this guy looks like Valky straight off the bat. Boom! Uh we need to fix that. I'm called Barry, uh in the game, in real life. Fuck that, that's a silly name. Um I hate these games really. I I can't get immersed, I don't know where to go, I get lost. Give me a linear corridor shooter, that's what I like. So I'm really at my element here, so this should be quite an interesting playthrough. So uh if you have any tips for these sort of games, please for God's sake let me know. Cause by God I need help. Uh but first of all let's uh skip uh, seriously how often do you look at yourself in these games? Not very often, so uh we can just skip through this I think. Try and make him look like Samuel L. Jackson. That's not too bad. It's got to be, I think. It's got to be. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. The fuck is my feet? Where's my clothes? Good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Right, I want to do kind of a stealth build, I guess. So, what do we need? That I don't think accuracy we could do probably a touch more of that. Yeah. This we need lots of this. I need any look. I suck. That's cool. That'll do. Let me get out of this thing. Cool. Yeah, that'll do. Somebody's gonna say it's yeah, a retarded choice, but let's see. Score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. I thought day would have been the first. Sleep. 
bandit. Light. Mother. Nature. Uh. Hmm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. Uh, I like to. I ain't more. given to relying on others for support. No, I have a very much a solo player. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. God no, I like to be discreet. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I'm dumb, yeah, okay. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. No, I like to stealth around. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay, how about this one? Last one. I need to get to a beard and man from that. Seriously, that's supposed to be eyes, nose, and that's a beard. That's retarded, no way. Head on a pillow? The fuck? Let's see that one, I guess. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. No. I like to sneak. Fuck energy weapons, let's go for medicine. Let's survive, you know. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Can I have some fucking clothes first? Jesus.
Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Cool. Alright, we'll go meet up with uh, Sunny Smiles in the bar by the looks of it, which is over there. And then we'll wrap up, this will be part one, and then we'll get straight to part two. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Happy trails! Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Alright, let's uh, wrap up this part. And uh, we'll catch you in part two. <laughs> bye bye.